Hey, welcome back. It's Monty, and it's Bridge to College and Math 107. We're on week 33, May 17th to the 21st, middle of May. And a lot of you have done really well on the first couple of units, and now it looks like we're heading off into data and statistics for most of us, okay? So we can always find Bridge to College, right? So where are we? Bridge to College Math. We post all the weekly videos here. We have our stream channel here if you need to see any of the old videos, okay? Boom. But it looks like most of you are just going to the internet, Digital Tools, Clever, Blackboard, and then we find our class, okay? And in our class, let's go to our announcements, I post the weekly video, one right on top of another, so you can go back and watch any of the videos and the units that you were working on at that time if you needed help, okay? All right, so let's do some data and statistics, okay? So we did three or four weeks of systems. We did three or four weeks of exponents and logarithms. Uh, it didn't sound like you guys were really interested in quadratics and in the classroom, they didn't get to this anyway. So it looks like we're spending more time on stats and data, okay? Now, one thing, last week, I didn't click on these first couple. I really like this. Now, obviously, we're not in a position to just take the class survey and hand it out to get raw data, okay? But take a look at this and think about, wow, I could actually hand this out, grab data, and analyze it, okay? It's always fun to have a class survey. So, just so you've seen that, now we could go through these if we want, okay? There's different projects, and we talk about write a two-question survey to give a, to a sample of students at the school. Write one question that would result in categorical data and one question that would result in quantitative data. Okay, now you got to do a little Google search. What's the difference between categorical and quantitative? So categories, students that take extracurricular activities. Students that take the bus. Quantitative data, how many people are doing the following? Okay, so categories, quantitative. Feel free to Google that. Feel free to write those questions. That's a great practice problem, okay, if you want to do that. I'm going to head to this one. Last week we talked about the Star Spangled Banner. I love that problem because what we think is going to be the answer is not what really turns out when we analyze the data. All right. And today, uh, hours spent studying. I love this one. Okay. This is a great problem. Suppose you want to estimate the average number of hours that students are in the school spend studying each week. Which of the following is the best method of sampling? Now, remember, you've probably heard we don't go ask the entire school a question. 1,200 people. You get a sample. Is 20 enough? Is 40 enough? Is 100 too many? Do some research about how many people they say is the right amount. But more importantly, where we go to ask the question will determine the answers we get. If you go to the library to ask people how long they study, you're going to get a totally different answer than if you <clears throat> go outside during lunch and you interview people just hanging around the tennis courts, right? So this is a great problem to do. I was going to spend... Which one was I on? Did that. Okay, now, biased sampling. Biased sampling. I love this one because indicate whether we should trust the results of the study. If a method of data collection is biased, explain why. Take 20 packages off the top of the load of packages being shipped by a truck and measure the amount of damage expected to the whole truck load. Read it exactly the way it sounds. You answer the question. Love it. Okay. 
A newspaper is curious about the satisfaction of the readers. When a person visits the newspaper's webpage, they are asked to complete a brief survey online. Okay? Now, because you're in the digital age, 21st century, maybe you've done this. You might get better answers when they can do it online and not have to talk to somebody. Or do you get better answers if you hear it on a phone call? Okay? Think about all the different ways we could do surveys and where we would get the best answers. Okay? So this week, I just mentioned three completely different assignments. I love this bias because we are biased. And there are better ways to analyze than maybe these listed. What can you come up with? Okay? The survey. How do you write a question to grab data? Okay, so the first thing you need to do is do a Google search, the difference between categories and quantitative. And then, I love this one, analyze A through F, spend 10 minutes writing up which one would give the best answer, best according to whom, right? The person writing it, what are they trying to prove? Okay, so have a great week. We're in statistics, and... We can go through these other lessons over the next few weeks. Have a great week. Bridge to College and Math 107, people. Bye-bye.